Hey guys, Jill here from Ask About Tech. Today I want to talk to you about something that is near and dear to my heart and I would like to give you as much information as I can. I want to talk to you today about a life-threatening problem that female dogs can get. It's something called pyometra. Pyometra is basically an infected uterus and it can happen on dogs that have had puppies or have never had puppies that are still intact and never been spayed. Letting your dog go through a heat cycle that basically means that she is physically mature and it's like having her period, okay? It usually comes around six months of age for most dogs. It allows a flood of hormones to come into the pet and allows her to become mature. The reason this happens is because as they age, the hormones that are used to produce the heat cycle are kind of wavering at this point. They're almost too old to have puppies or shouldn't have puppies, but they still have their female parts. So what happens is those hormones are not super strong. They kind of fluctuate. So what can happen is the uterus doesn't actually close up all the way after having the heat cycle because there's an imbalance of hormones. Bacteria can make it up into the body, causing an infection in the uterus. There's two horns in the uterus, and sometimes one side can be infected and not the other, or vice versa, or they both can be infected. Some signs and symptoms that you may be seeing from your pet while she may be experiencing pyometra would be she's very lethargic, doesn't want to get up, hesitant to move at all, maybe a little bit bloated. The bloating is a big deal and you want to be very cautious not to push or press on their belly at this time. You also may experience them wanting to drink a ton of water and then vomiting it up. Please call your veterinarian if you see any of these signs and symptoms. I'm going to show you some really graphic pictures, so please, if you don't want to see them, jump forward. Some are small, some are not. Warning, warning, disturbing content. Look away if you don't want to see it. This here is surgery being performed on a pyometra or an infected uterus. It's a super delicate procedure where the, the instruments have to be placed ever so gently and the doctor cannot poke a thing. This Mastiff here had a, a raging pyometra and was super, super sick. Um, a Great Dane also has a giant uterus. and This here gives you a wonderful photo of just how the horns normally lay in the body. Yes, even little tiny chihuahuas can get pyometras. This one, pyometras can also be open or closed. This one here was an open pyometra, meaning that the uterus was open just enough that the infection was still draining out. And an infected uterus is an emergency. It is not something that's like, oh, it can wait till next week. No, it needs to come out now. It's going to cost you a lot of money because it is an emergency surgery. Taking out that uterus is a big job. You do not want to poke a hole in an infected uterus. If any of that fluid makes it inside the body cavity, you have a very, very sick dog. If the uterus bursts, the chances of your dog's survival are very slim. I'm not trying to scare you, I'm just being real. Questions you may be asked when you bring your dog to the veterinarian in suspect of a pyometra. Has your pet been spayed? When was her last heat cycle? Have you noticed any discharge? Have you noticed anything abnormal? And also, the most important, when was your dog last normal? The reason that happens is because they're not spayed. If you are going to have puppies, get your puppies and then get her spayed because you owe her that. She's given you all those beautiful babies. So if you have any questions about pyometra or the surgery or kind of what it entails, please leave a comment below. I'll give you all the ins and outs. But if you have questions and you think your dog has a pyo, please go to a vet, A-S-A-P, because it's not a joke. It's life-threatening. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something today. Just remember, I'm here for you. You're here for your pet. Have a great day.